All right, this is the TurtleWow private server. Um, and in this video, I'm going to try to do the quest chain to get the Torrens plane striding ability. Um, let me first go ahead and say that this may be a long video. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going in this with very little information. I don't know if this is going to require a long quest chain. I don't know if it's going to be as simple as, you know, talking to one person, going and talking to a second person, and then coming back to talk to that first person. I really don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, when I was first learning about the server in this past summer, um, the thing that really made me want to try it was planes running. You know, I knew that, I think it was like in the Blizzard World of Warcraft Alpha or something back in 2003, 2004, um, they were going to implement planes running, but they scrapped that idea before the game officially released, something like that. It may have been in earlier stages than the Alpha, I'm not entirely sure. Either way though, I'm really excited that Turtle Wall has planes running, and uh, that is the main reason why I chose a Torrin. And I chose Druid simply because I think at the time I was more interested in leveling a Druid than Hunter, Shaman, or Warrior. Um, yeah, so here I am. I'm about to hit level 40. Uh, looks like I'm just a couple more NPCs away. I am um, the Feral Druid. I know that cat form is like higher DPS, so I usually try and stay in cat form just to quickly kill mobs. Um, however, I prefer bear form. I just like rage more than energy. I don't really like rogues that much. I prefer to play warrior, and um, I just love a bear druid. Um, I actually... Don't mind tanking dungeon, dungeons in Vanilla WoW if it's as a bear druid. Uh, I prefer them to warriors in most situations. In dungeons, not necessarily in raiding. Um, but yeah, I think maybe just two more mobs. And hey, who doesn't love that view, right? Let me PvP. Like, uh, pretend that. Have you ever PvP'd a druid, like in the open world or in a duel? You'll see that whenever they go bear form, they start doing all this. And I think it's kind of silly. Because all they're really doing is just trying to hit them all. But they're jumping all around in circles and stuff. And it doesn't really do a whole lot, but it's fun to watch. <laughs> You'll see them, like, maybe open up in cat form, or even if they're moonkin sometimes. Uh, and then <laughs> you'll see them do the uh, classic regrowth rejuvenation. And then, boom, bear form. And they just start jumping around all over the place. They might try to get a feral charge off, feral charge off, or, or whatever. But I don't know. It's always funny to see that. All right, this should be the last kill. Uh, let me go ahead and show slash played. I've been leveling this character very slowly. Two days, sixteen hours, almost seventeen hours, almost four hours just on this level. So I haven't been. Uh, doing too well in terms of pace, but I haven't really been trying to level fast. Uh, but the real funny thing is the deaths. Um, you know, it's currently December 2nd right now, classic season of Master Servers are live. There's a big raid for the Road to Ragnaros and Hardcore, ch hardcore Challenge that's going on. Um, some people are just doing the Soul of Iron that Blizzard's offering and season of Master Servers, etc. Um, so while they're trying not to die once, here I am having died 77 times, which. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty bad. Look at that, leader of the pack. Extra crit chance? Why is this not active? Is this something... Oh, there it goes, I had to go in and out. Leader of the pack, okay. Alright, let me... Create a portal to order, Mar. And then I will fly to Thunder Bluff and then run down to Bloodhoof Village, where I believe this starts. Um, even if I was just going to buy a normal mount, I think Torn. Yeah, I know for a fact Torn buy them in Bloodhoof Village. I've done that. Um, real fast, let me check the price on the Scroll and Pearl, uh, and I'm going to talk about that for a quick second. Golden Pearl. One gold? Okay, that's dirt cheap. Alright, I'm just going to vendor that. That's funny. Um, these have gone upwards of 50 gold, depending on which server you are on. Maybe that's just on, like, Blizzard servers, where bots are rampant and uh, prices are drastic. 
Uh, but I have almost 96 gold. I haven't purchased an ability, I think, since like level 32, maybe 34. Uh, but definitely, I didn't buy any level 36 or 38 abilities. I'm not going to have the money to buy level 40 abilities either. Um, I have spent a few levels simply mob grinding, especially on Beast. I have skinning so I can skin them, and uh, that's definitely generated quite a bit of gold. Um, I didn't want to hit level 40 and have like 60 gold, so... I've kind of taken, a, not necessarily drastic measures, but definitely planned to have the required gold level 40 to do this. Um, I do know that you have to purchase the riding skill, which I think is usually 90 gold. Uh, actually, it's usually like 81 gold, uh, because people are usually honored with their race, the race's faction, by the time they hit level 40, and so they get that 10% discount. So I'm assuming it's going to be 81 gold, um, plus a quest chain. So I might have the better part of 13, 14 gold left over. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. Um... But yeah, I guess I can take this time to update a little bit on the server. Um, currently 350 people online. However, it's definitely not during prime hours. It's uh, past midnight server time. So prime time has been gone now for at least a few hours. Um, it's also on a Thursday night. You know, people are probably asleep getting ready for work tomorrow. And then on the weekend, you know, starting tomorrow night, the server will be a bit more active. Um, enjoying the world chat regardless. But um, I actually, so when I was playing on the server last weekend, it was either Saturday, I think maybe Sunday though, um, I saw the population hit over 600, which is crazy to me. The server has grown since I started playing this past summer. Uh, so I'm very impressed by that. I didn't, wasn't I wasn't really expecting that much growth in this short of a time frame. So it's pretty cool to see the server grow so much. Um, like I would say probably it's grown at least or maybe around 150, maybe even 200 people um, active online at any given time. So like right now, 350 online at midnight, but if you had checked the midnight times, you know, four or five months ago, you probably would have only seen 200 people online. So uh, very, very impressive to me at least. I mean, this server actively has more people than Darrowshire does, which granted may not be a fair comparison given that Darrowshire is a PvP server um, it's also not Vanilla Plus like this is. Um, but either way, I mean, I'm, I didn't think that Turtle Wow would have surpassed Darrowshire in population this soon. Um, granted, I wasn't really expecting Kronos 4 either, so... Um, nothing really against Darrowshire here. I'm just really just trying to brag on the server. I'm really impressed by it. Um, let's see what else. The... Players are really friendly. At least I've experienced so many friendly players. Um, when I was doing some of the Emmett's quest, you know, uh, big game hunter prerequisite quest in Stranglethorn Vale, I was able to group up with a level uh, 41 hunter and we were able to knock out like Tethys and uh, a couple others. Um, but we actually had the help of a level 60 hunter who was just bored. He was waiting on his battleground queue to pop, and so he actually helped us do some quests. And in addition to that, um, I saw an orc warrior level 45 just um, recruiting other people for some elite quests or some of the harder quests to do in Southern Stranglethorn Vale. And when I grouped up with him, um, he was incredibly friendly. Just uh, and we added another two people to the group, but with each person that was like invited to the group, he was like, "Hey, how you doing? How's your day been going?" What he up to? Just like very, very friendly. And maybe it's because this is the first time I've actually leveled a character on a non PvP server. Uh, so maybe I'm just not used to it. But to me, it's been an incredible just surprise at how many nice people there are. And of course, there's still going to be, you know, a few toxic people or people that are annoying, obnoxious, whatever. You know, people you just don't like or are obnoxious. Uh, that's really any online interaction ever. With any game but uh, I feel like at least in my experience on average I have found more people percentage wise density wise whatever uh, that are friendly than I have on PvP servers I don't think I can run around and make that within time so I'm just gonna wait here uh, my travel form is as a deer a reindeer um, I did some quests I think in Dustwall Marsh 
I don't know if it was like a real quest. I think maybe I was just like told to go and find this person and I found this person and as soon as I did, I was given like this glyph or the spell which made my travel form change from like that cheetah or leopard, whatever, to a reindeer, which um, is pretty interesting. It's definitely cool that they've added that into the game. However, I do prefer the normal travel form more. Um, I don't love the reindeer. And I've noticed if I'll actually log out while in travel form and log back in, it logs me in as the normal cheetah. So this is the normal druid travel form for both Night Elf and Tauren. Uh, and I, I think I prefer this. But now if I'll just like leave travel form and go back into it, that glyph applies and now I'm just the reindeer again. I don't know if this can be turned off, if it's permanent. Um, truthfully, I don't care enough about it to look into it. It doesn't really matter to me. Especially now that I'm about to get my mount. Um, and even if like you're level 40 and you're not a class that has movement speed bonus, like a druid, shaman, hunter, um, you know, everyone has the turtle. And the turtle gives you a speed boost of uh, whatever your level is divided by two. So this would be a 20% speed increase right now as a level 40, if I were to ride the turtle. Uh, which is really, really nice, you know? So it... I mean, people are definitely still incentivized to try and save gold and get their mounts level 40. Um, more or less depending on which class you are and who you ask. But um, even if, you know, you haven't been great with gold management, or maybe you're new to WoW or new to vanilla WoW, and you don't really know how to save up money that well before level 40, uh, it's really nice that you can still have this mount, you know, uh, at any time, and it's completely free, and it's obviously not nearly as fast, but it's 20% faster, which is still pretty generous, I feel. Um, I think that's probably all I had to say on the server right now. I'll probably talk a little bit more about it after I get planes running and I try it out and I wrap up this video. Uh, let me actually try and get there fast, though. <laughs> Go back to travel form. I don't love that... When you go into your character page, though, your travel form character isn't centered as it should be. Like, I'm clearly clipping into my attributes here. So I don't love that. Um, <laughs> but that's probably my only real annoyance with this change. Which, again, you don't even have to do if you're playing a druid. Uh, it's an optional quest. Okay, so normally, you would get your riding, 81 gold, as I already knew, and then you would buy a mount for 9 gold. However, let me just see. Swift as a swift hook. Uh, um, I've been expecting my Ra Pawin. Samantha Swift hook, and yet she's... Um, I'm confused. Can you help me... Can you help me and find her? Last time we spoke. I'm not going to read all this. I'm, ha I'm struggling to read right now. I don't know. Um, I actually know who this is. Without having first read into this quest or known anything about it, just reading the name Samantha Swift Tough. Um, even before reading, does it say? Yeah. Booty Bay. Um, I know this. I've passed this NPC dozens of times on several different characters. She just patrols on the roads in Stranglethorn Vale. So I just, I go find her. Well, my hearthstone is still in its TV, so that's pretty convenient. Um, let me go ahead and buy Prentice Riding, though. Actually, no, I'm going to wait. Because I'm probably going to come back to this guy anyways, right? No, let me go ahead and do it, just in case I don't. So still 14 gold. Um, but I don't know if actually learning the planes running ability will cost more gold. So I don't know, let's figure it out. I guess I could take this time to talk about something else I wasn't really planning on until I was going to wrap up the video, but um, just a bit more about Turtle WoW, you know. Some people already are inclined to try it out because it isn't a PvP server, um, or because it has a cash shop, but 
I mean, honestly, I feel like everyone who's played this game and given it a real shot has liked it. I haven't found too many people that have come here, tried it out, and be like, yeah, no, this sucks. Um, I totally respect and understand if you try it out and you like it, but there's another game that you like more, so you're not playing this as often. That's kind of been my case. Um, so that's fine, too, but... Um, I mean, for anyone wanting a Vanilla Plus experience without the PvP Sweat Lords, you know, I definitely recommend this server. Because more than just a cosmetic cash shop, not that they're necessarily selling level 60s or anything like that, but more than cosmetics, this really is a Vanilla Plus server. Um, you know, the devs have coded in more quest chains, um, different races, different race class combinations. And just other vanilla content. I think they've added in like some 2v2 arenas or something like that now. Um, they are going to be releasing patch 1.16, if I'm not mistaken, pretty soon. And that's going to address class balance. So um, that I think will be an amazing change that many people are looking forward to. Many people like vanilla WoW. They love the world and the community there. But... You know, they don't play it because their favorite class might be one of the hybrid classes, which don't really have their time in the sun in vanilla unless they're going to be healing, for the most part. You know, bear tanks are still really solid. Um, I actually think bear spec is the best role a druid can perform. I think bear tanks are better than druid healers, uh, in my opinion. But of course, you want a druid healer and max for certain fights. I'm getting off topic. I apologize. Anyways... Turtle Battle is going to be releasing a patch which addresses class balance. You're going to be introducing uh, more abilities or retuning certain abilities of most, if not all, of the classes. I didn't read the article in its entirety, but that's the gist of what I got from it. Um, so that that's really exciting. Uh, personally, I don't really care too much either way for my own gameplay experience, but I know that many people are excited for that. Um, I've never been one to shy away from a meme spec because it isn't optimal in raids. You know, I mained an Enhancement Shaman in Classic WoW. Um, I also had a Moonkin that I raided with, and I really enjoyed both of those. Um, and I was never bottom of the DPS meter, so before you call me out for being carried, I, I pulled at least more weight than a couple of raid members, all right? So while I may not have pulled enough weight, or the average weight, I pulled more than some which I am fine with as a meme spec. Um, anyways, I am personally am fine either way, but some people I know have shied away from playing maybe their favorite class or playing a certain spec in vanilla because it's not super viable and maybe because they're competitive or because they just want to perform well or feel like they're contributing a lot in raids. Uh, and because of that, they're usually forced to play a healer role if they play one of the hybrid classes or maybe they just choose another class altogether, you know, one of the meta specs or classes. Uh, so it's really cool that they're going to be introducing that class balance. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. Maybe it's going to be balanced well, maybe not so well. Maybe the meta will change. I really don't know. You know, we'll see. Um, but either way, that's going to be really exciting. Okay, so here is Samantha Swifthoof. I don't want to aggro this Tigress, so I'm going to wait for her to come to me a little bit. I guess I could throw a soothing animal on you. Forgive me, but I am so exhausted with my journey, I can barely move my hoof. Can you help? Oh, you're kidding me. I've traveled this far on my... Oh, no. Heavy silk bandages, fade leaf, earth root. Okay, so I'm not an herbalist, so all this will have to come from the auction house, including the bandages, because I don't have first aid. Uh, refreshing spring water is just the low-level water I can get from a vendor, right? Uh, so let me go back to... Oops. No, I can't even go back there quickly. Okay. That's fine. I'll go to Grown Goal. And take this up. Okay, so for only a couple of gold, I was able to acquire the required materials for this quest off the auction house, so pretty fortunate with that. Um, hopefully... I can find her traveling south now. I assume she'll be traveling back north. Uh, fingers crossed, though. Um, and while I was buying these things, I did remember what I meant to say earlier about the Golden Pearl, um, but I simply forgot to. And that was 
that I'm really surprised to have found a Golden Pearl, and I'll tell you why. I have leveled, I think... Okay, so during Classic WoW, I leveled at least... Yeah, I leveled five characters through Stranglethorn Vale and through Ashara doing the Naga quest. And so I acquired, you know, several of those clams, uh, whatever they're specifically called, that have like a 1 in 100 chance, 1% 1 drop chance, uh, to give you a golden pearl. And uh, not on a single one of those five characters, and, you know, probably going through a couple hundred of those clams, did I find a single gold pearl. Um, and then when I was playing on Darrowshire, leveling up that dwarf rogue, um, I actually had probably a few of them um i don't think i was farming them but i think i was just doing the quest and um i opened one and finally got a golden pearl my first one ever so i was really excited about it took a screenshot and um, i then proceeded to open up the next one and was amazed to see that i actually looted a second golden pearl so two clams in a row gave me golden pearls um which was just so um just odd defying and it really made up for the lack of golden pearls, you know, from the probably two to three hundred uh, clams that had opened up in the past on those other characters. I mean, I actually spent probably two hours at one point just farming those, trying to get a golden pearl so I wouldn't have to buy it. Um, because I think they were worth about 50 gold on the server that I was playing on at that time. And so if you could find, you know, just one golden pearl per hour, then it's a mediocre, maybe even solid or decent gold farm. Um, and it's, you know, fairly easy to acquire 100 of those clams in an hour for most level 60s. So um, I've tried farming them before for a brief time, never got it. So anyways, when I was able to loot two pearls back to back um, on that dwarf rogue, it, you know, it made up for all of the lack of golden pearls in the past. But also I assumed I'd used up all of my luck in ever getting, getting them again. So I was really surprised to have found it on this character. Um... I have the screenshots of those golden pearls somewhere on my desktop, I'm not entirely sure where. But um, eventually I'll make a recording where I just go through a lot of like screenshots and clips that I have on my desktop. And whether or not I make it public, I'm not entirely sure, but um, either way, that's what I wanted to say about the golden pearl. I forgot about that earlier. Alright, so I'm passing the arena. Hopefully I'll see Samantha Swift have soon. If not, it means she was just past or near Himmet's camp, which I think she patrols all the way up here. I'm pretty sure she patrols the length of STV. Um, I guess I could look it up to be sure, but just in my experience, I feel like I've seen her up here on these northern bridges before. So it'd be really unlucky to have just barely missed her. But I, I don't know, I hope that's not the case. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the last video that I intend to record for Turtle Wow. I mean... My only goal that I ever had for the server was to get this character to 40 and to try out planes running. And so this is going to be me accomplishing that in this video. Um, I may keep playing the server. I may continue to try out the hardcore challenge because I actually like this server's version of the hardcore challenge and its in-game features a bit more than, you know, doing the hardcore challenge with Cargos and the gang and using their add-on or doing the Soul of Iron Season of Mastery server, you know, uh, buff or whatever. That probably didn't make a lot of sense to someone who doesn't know about them, but anyone who's dabbled or looked into the Hardcore Challenge hopefully knows what I'm talking about. Um, but I actually kind of like the server's features for it a bit more. Um, so anyways, I might keep playing this server. I might try out some of the other classes. I'm sorry, the other races. And with the new patch coming out, maybe I'll try out some other classes as well. I don't really know, but either way, this is the last planned video that I have for the server. Uh, because it's me accomplishing the goal that I set out for it. All right, back to the planes running question. Were you able to get those herbs and cloth from me? Yes. Compressing bandage. I feel so much better now. So invigorated and excited. This is wonderful. Um, uh, go to Jorn Skyrsea or Camp Toronto. Okay. So I think the fastest way is just to go to Booty Bay, catch the boat to Ratchet, and fly down to Camp Toronto. Okay. So. Here is Jorn Skyseer. Well, Planes to run, Sky to see. The winds led you to me. Smith Swifthoof sent you. 
girl did very well to travel further than Mulgor and Barons. Wait, isn't it the Barons? It's the Barons. I feel like that's a mistake. Doesn't really matter. Uh, there's an expert on planes running skill. Hunter's Rise. She can teach you on how you should handle your body for planes running only when you have your spirit high with the blessing of the wind. Reach her while the blessing is still supporting your spirit and body. Blessing wind will be dispelled upon you. So this is going to be like a timed quest. Sweet. Only five minutes? Can I just fly there? Let me just fly to Thunderbolt. Just to be safe. So, I have to make it to her while still have the Spirit of the Wind buff, right? So that's a five minute buff, but it's giving me over six minutes in the quest timer? I don't really understand that. I don't know, but this looks like it's gonna be the end of the chain. Um, so cool. By the way, I have one dishonorable kill on this character, which is giving me the rank of negative one and the dishonored title, which I love. So I'm never gonna PvP on this character because I want to keep my rank at <laughs> negative one. Um, I like that. But uh, about planes running, so I know that I think it still is like a three second cast, right? Does it tell me here? Wait, instant increases your running speed. The longer you run, the faster you go up to maximum speed. Cannot use in combat underwater or indoors. So, same restrictions as a mount. But I thought it would have a cast time of 3 seconds like a mount does. But if it's in instant, then it's quite nice. Um, but yes, you do have to build up to your maximum speed. Uh, supposedly it takes around 5 seconds to go from your starting speed to the max speed. Which, by the way, depends on your riding skill. So at level 40... Uh, the max speed will be 60% increase, just like a level 40 mount. Um, but once I get my epic mount training, then I assume that planes you're running will be automatically updated to increase your speed to a 100% speed increase, uh, just like an epic mount would. Um, and then, just like uh, how there's a process to build your speed up, I want to say that when you're slowing down, there's something there too. Like, I don't really know if you can just stop on a dime. Or how that works. Am I going to the Hunter Rise or Elder Rise? What did it say? Oh crap. I thought it I thought it was Hunter Rise, although I can't really remember. I can jump over here. Uh, but something else I also want to try out is if you can use this form while shapeshifted. So like if I were in Moonkin form, would it work? Um, if I were in bear form or cat form, would it work? Oh, I still have Spirit of the Wind. Okay. Yes, okay. So it was Hunter Rise. I'm glad I remembered that. So I'm actually, with my left of gold, I'm going to respec uh, into balance. Just to try that out. You wish to speak? Okay, I've learned a new ability. Planes running. Um, first, let me go to the Elder Eyes. I'm gonna unlearn my spec. Uh, I'm sorry, leader of the pack, I just got it. Literally didn't even get to try it out. Uh, although I've, you know, played with it before in other characters, so it's, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I mentioned this briefly that if I do keep playing on the server, which I think I might, I mean, it's a fun server. Um, the only thing that would hold me back from playing on the server is simply the other goals I've committed myself to on other games and other WoW servers. But if I didn't have any of those, then I probably would keep playing on the server. It's a free, it's a nice vanilla plus server, great community. Um, and it's just really enjoyable. But um, if I do if I do keep playing, I don't think it'll be on this character. I don't really care to play Druid again. Um, I mean, I'm currently at 2 days, 17 hours played. I'm almost at the halfway point. Most people say... Level 45 is about the halfway point from 1 to 60. For me, it's usually around level 42, 43. I'm one of my talents. Great. Um, 
But I'm going to go ahead and guess that I'm probably on track to hit level 60 at just over 6 days of in-game playtime on this character if I were to continue to 60. Um, I just don't really know that I want to do that because I, within the last two years, I've actually leveled up a druid from 1 to 60. Um, I leveled a night elf druid from 1 to 60, um, mostly as balance spec. From like 10 to 27, and then again from 40 to 60, I was leveling as balance, aka Moonkin. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it, really enjoyed it, but there's just other classes that I think I want to play again before I went back to leveling a druid. Um, so I might end up coming back to this character, um, but I'm more inclined to play the server, but as a different character, uh, mostly as a different class, I think. Um, by the way, what I'm wanting to do is just going down into Mulgor, the beautiful plains of Mulgor, uh, wide open spaces, and then I'm going to try out planes running there. I'm not ready to do it here in the city, I want to really test it out on the open plains. Uh, let me go ahead and throw some talents into balance spec though, I'm pretty familiar with this. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm not going to play this character, but... Let me just throw some talents in here. Um, I like improved nature's grasp. I also like the improved reach, but I don't really need that right now anyways. Uh, nature's reach, nature's grace, moon fury, moon can form, ta-da! Okay. By the way, I do not like the torn moon can form. I much prefer the Night Elf Moonkin form. Uh, also, Cat form. I prefer Night Elves. But I do like the Torn Bear form more than the Night Elf Bear form. Just personal preference there. Alright, so let's try this out. I'm really excited. Let's get on the road. Okay, so I'm starting out a little faster. Even faster. And there it goes. Oh, wait. I believe this is the mount speed. Let me quickly change into travel form to see if it slows me down. It did. Okay. Start out slow. And then 40%. And then I assume right here is 60%. Yeah, so I think it's 20, 40, and then 60. This is cool. I am a ugly cow wizard. But I'm hauling it. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this. Alright, now if I stop... Okay, so I lost my speed, I lost my momentum, but I think I'm still at 20% instantly, just because this isn't an instant. This is cool. Okay, now let me go to combat. I'm just going to aggro up and I'm not going to attack. Okay. It looked like I had maintained the 20% there for a second. This is sweet. I like this, this is really cool. Okay, moon can form. <gasps> yes! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! You can do planes running while well moon can form. I feel like I'm still going really slow though. This is so cool. Imagine like also holding like a Hand of Ragnaros. This would be really, really funny. I'd still furious. Hand of Rag. Okay, wait. Let me... It is still the same speed, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I, I should keybind this. I don't have that keybound. I'm trying to run sideways so I can... Better gauge. Actually, let me just do this. Key binding. Uh, special action buttons that I'm looking for. Uh, five. Let's just do shift F. That's fine. Okay. Plane's running. I think I'm still going the same speed. I mean, according to the buffs, I am, but. This is so cool. I'm so happy with this. I wish... 
<laughs> I wish I had the Night Elf Moonkin form over the Torn one, but... Hey, maybe there's, like, glyphs to change the way your Moonkin form looks. I mean, there was for travel form, so... I don't know, really, there's a lot more to Turtle Well than I've explored. I still don't understand, like, the tenant system. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other custom quest things I just haven't got around to yet. Um, but either way, that's really cool. I'm really satisfied with that. Let me wrap up this video. I really enjoyed my time on Turtle Well. I really enjoyed uh, this character, but more importantly, I enjoy planes running. That is so cool. Um, especially because it works in... Oh, I didn't try it out in bear form. But probably not, though. First of all, that's broken. Why am I not in bear form right now? There we go. Bad form, same thing. But it works in Moonkin form. Man, that's just so cool. I really like that. Okay, I'll log out now. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I stuck out the goal, or that I followed through with the goal I had for this character and trying out planes running, because that's really cool to watch. Um, probably after I wrap up the recording, I think I might just keep running around. It's just so cool to look at. Um, and I guess technically it's cheaper than a mount. I mean, I saved nine gold. Uh, well, actually, I spent a couple gold on some of those quest items, but if I was an herbalist and I had first aid, then I definitely would have saved that full nine gold. So really, really cool. Um, I, I'm i not going to say I'm never going to play this character again, um, or that I'm not going to keep leveling him. I might, but for now, that is the end of Rainbow. I appreciate anyone who has watched any of these videos or watched any of the ones specifically with Turtle Wow. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so anyways, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, bye.